Good morning, everyone. It is that time once again, morning prayer and devotion time. God bless you each and every one as we come together again this morning in this virtual sitting. It is such a blessing from the Lord to be able to pray uh, with my friends today. I'm going to try my best to uh, read all of these requests today as quickly as possible. Um, I know each day we don't go over all the needs specifically, but I do want to touch in uh, every now and then and try to get all the uh, requests in, even if it shortens our actual prayer time uh, together and shortens our uh, devotional. Um, one of the students here at the school yesterday uh, was looking over my shoulder as I was preparing the list and he said, man, that's a lot of needs. And you know what? Our God is big enough to answer each and every one of them. Uh, we need to pray for continued uh, strength and recovery for Anthony Sifford, Buddy Randolph, Billy Huey, Johnny's nephew Joey, Sue Morris's nephew Dwayne, and Steve Echeverria, all of these recovering from the effects of stroke. Pastor Chris Dew recovering from Guillain-Barre syndrome, and we do believe his recovery is in the final stages. Brother David Kent uh, partially paralyzed after falling on icy pavement. My dad still needing uh, continued strengthening and steadiness on his feet. Uh, Jolie, an 18 year old uh, young lady who was in a severe car accident, um, has had multiple surgeries and faces uh, probably more uh, procedures and a long road recovery ahead of her. Dave Mahan also in an auto accident with many injuries and facing this uh, time of recovery as well. So let's keep all of them in our prayers. Uh, we need to pray for those who are in nursing homes again today, also those on hospice care, uh, Brother Paul Mooney, Ms. Patterson, Mr. Jennings, all on hospice currently. We're praying for peace and comfort for the family of Donna S., who passed away earlier this week. Uh, Kristen brought this need to our attention and just now able to uh, share the name. Um, we're praying for several children, uh, Jaden Short with seizures, Brantley and Elsie with heart issues, Darla's granddaughter with seizures, Tammy Lawson's granddaughter has epilepsy, Weston Murphy had an accident recently with injury to his face, and Abel with PKU syndrome and autism, and also Abram with the, the very rare GNA01 disorder, all needing prayers for a miracle in their bodies today. Uh, Judy Williams' daughter Jennifer has an appointment today in regard to uh, stomach issues and severe acid reflux. Uh, let's pray that this will go well and they will uh, find uh, the appropriate treatment for her. Uh, praying for Michael Parrott with Crohn's disease, Pam Williams' granddaughter Savannah, Amber Kay, Heather Spence, all of these needing a um, healing touch today for chronic stomach issues. I'd be praying for Tracy for her home to sell. Tracy has MS and her long commute each day, an hour each way really complicates things for her and needs this stressor removed. So let's keep praying about that situation. Been praying for it for quite some time. And we know that God's going to answer according to his will and his timing. Uh, Sarah Stroop, Pastor Marty DeLott, and Riley March also with MS. And we're praying for several with heart problems, including Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother, Chaney, Sister Patty Arnold, Joyce Fisk, Kelly B., Brother Mark Morris, Amy Dees, Cheryl Chance, Jenny Perkins' dad, Holly, Ronnie Wilson, and Robin Felver. Praying for those with back problems, including Tammy Lawson, Jennifer Phillips, Brianna Williams, Britt Moore, Cindy Page, Rebecca Williams, Becky Wilson, Carolyn Rogers, Regenia, Pam Poyum's daughter, Jen, uh, Jenny, Marsha's boss, Paul Swinney, Carmen Bolaware, Terry Wilmer, Johnny and Terry Nelson, and also praying for Elveda, who has uh, hip pain in addition to lower back pain, and Belinda's friend with back and shoulder pain. Let's keep praying for Sammy, Renee, Sheila, Donna Robinson, and Chris Ramey with mobility problems, Jimmy Moore, Virgil Pulliam, Rose Brown, June Coffer, and Sister Judy Williams' mother, all with arthritis. 
Beth Wheatley, Marcia's co-worker's son, and Milena with migraine headaches, uh, praying for those with chronic lung conditions, uh, Jamie Joe, Chaney, Sally Waller, John Sutter, Venus's brother Clay, Pam Poyum's aunt Nancy, Dee's mother Carolyn, Robbie Northrup, Gary Lee, and Kendra Ortiz. Those with Parkinson's disease, my mother-in-law Beulah Ziegler, Carmen's dad Russ, uh, my father Ron Bryant, Tim Workman, and Kristen's friend Matt. Uh, also praying for those with dementia, Vivian C., Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny Nelson's mom, and Melena's mother, uh, who is in the nursing home uh, now with dementia worsening rapidly. Ben Ramey's stepdad Tom has memory deterioration issues over the past couple of years. And we're praying for those who have been in the hospital recently. And I'm sure some of these are still in the hospital. Bishop John Stepp, Cammon's dad, Beth Paris, and Sister McDougal. We're praying for those who are recovering from recent surgeries. Melissa Yu, Terry's brother-in-law Lloyd, Belinda's friend, and Cheryl Lachance's family member. Belinda's cousin is facing an upcoming surgical procedure. So let's keep uh, this uh, individual in our prayers. Pray also for all those who are currently battling cancer. Uh, these include Amanda Rogers, who is starting chemo on the 25th of this month. Uh, that will be next week. Belinda has a couple of friends who are battling cancer. Sister Judy met a lady recently uh, who has metastatic cancer and added her to our prayer list. We're also praying for Virgil and Julia Nelson, Marcia's cousin's husband, Brian, Robert Fewell, Maxine, uh, Kathy Selby, Pastor Richard Mahan, Linda Wooten, B.J. Scott, Bud Taylor, Jim Ramey, Maggie Lowry, Marcia's co-workers aunt, Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Diane Escher, Cheryl, Dennis Phelps, Heather Milligan, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Michelle Strand's sister Cindy, Scott Lucia, Marcia's friend's grandparent Daniel Dickinson, uh, Kristen's friend Betty, Ari Bowers, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Jamie Joe's cousin Maisie, Jordan, Christine, and Gladys Sims. Uh, keep praying for Sherry who needs a liver transplant, Olivia in need of a kidney transplant, Jesse Ramey, Doug Seaball, Kristen's friend Dave, and Oscar Smith, all with kidney problems as well. Those with diabetes, Belinda, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Pulliam, Titus Dornbach, Christian Carr, Lloyd Page, Cindy Page, Tim Workman, Steve Cummins, Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rebecca, Rose Brown, J.R. Johnson, Christian's neighbor Natalie, Lola Dickinson, Christian's cousin Grady, Holly, myself, and Zek's former co-worker's husband. In our other health needs today, let's pray for Carmen's cousin Meredith, Sue Helton Morris, Carl Metcalf, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Brenda and Michael, Clay, Venus, Randy Reeves, Pat's son Robbie, Tristan's friend Ann, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Devin Huff, Johnny Nelson, Elizabeth, Marcia's cousin Pam, Belinda Stratton and Belinda's best friend, Mike Mitchell, Betty Cossey, Venus's brother-in-law Matthew, uh, Mom and Dad O, and Mom Vivian C, Kristen's friend Melissa, Marsha Moore, Cheryl Lachance, Laura Heppy, Kristen's uncle Lonnie, Kristen's cousin Grady's son, and Terry Nelson's sister Cindy. In our spiritual and family needs this morning, we need to continue praying for the Cummins family, the Perkins, the Joneses, the Marlins, the Moores, the Williams, the Pulliams, the Biddicks, uh, Johnny's sister Yvonne, uh, Jeffrey, Stephanie and her children, Annette and Dave, Marcia's friends Ashley and Linda, David, Judy Johnson's grandson, Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Chaney and Becca, J.R., Jacob, Josh, Allen, Ashley, Dawson, Charles, Frank, William, Dana, Cheryl's cousin. Um, all of these with various needs and of a spiritual nature or of a family nature. And uh, we know that God is going to move whether the situation is related to addiction or um, a prodigal situation or dysfunction within the home, whatever that it is. 
our God is able today. Uh, we're praying also for our Mingo RCF residents and Job Corps students, um, Rose Brown's family needing salvation, uh, Johnny's nieces and nephews, many of them needing salvation. Belinda's best friend needs continued prayer. Belinda has several needs that she's believing for, waiting on a promise of God in her life uh, to come to fruition. Uh, she needs a new furnace. Uh, she's had some kind of a critter stuck in uh, her stovepipe that needs to be removed. Uh, she needs her fall financial aid to come through. Uh, needs our continued prayers for her fall class. Uh, she has a situation at work and a family member who needs salvation and has been causing problems. Uh, remember our North American and global missionaries, our Missouri North American missionaries, pastors, and their families all need our prayers. We need prayer cover for our meetings next week in Branson, which we will be uh, upgrading some churches from daughter work status to autonomous uh, North American mission status, and they are rushing to complete all the paperwork and red tape that is necessary uh, to bring them online with the uh, Missouri North American Missions Department. So let's pray for those situations and for other decisions that uh, we will need to make, the district board and other committees meeting next week as well, and uh, pray for yours truly and those who will be working with me at the fall retreat uh, next week, uh, taking care of the music and sound. Uh, our global missionaries, uh, many of them in areas where believers are being persecuted, uh, let's pray for open doors and for wisdom in those situations and, of course, for God's protection. Continue praying for the new ministry school, Ramp University. Uh, keep praying for our school here, WPCA Puxico Campus. Uh, God is doing great things through this um, startup school. Our military personnel and their families need uh, prayer for protection and strength during times of separation. Pray specifically for the 101st Airborne Division from Fort Campbell that's been deployed to the Middle East. And, of course, pray for peace in Israel in all the Middle East and uh, pray for an end to the war in Ukraine. Uh, we need to pray for continued travel mercies, mercies for Britt and Marsha. They've been on vacation in South Florida and the Caribbean. I've been enjoying uh, Marsha's uh, pictures. She's been uh, uh, uploading to Facebook, and they're having a wonderful time. Let's pray for their protection uh, throughout the trip. Pat and Les Wells are traveling to Chicago today. The Jones family is traveling to Branson today for a few days of R&R. So let's keep them in our prayers as well. Bob C. has a car situation he needs resolved. Uh, Judy Williams' grandson is trying to find a job. Uh, we have people in uh, Florida, North Carolina, Georgia, uh, all digging out from the recent hurricanes. And I think it'd be okay for us to pray for some relief from these storms um, as there's still the possibility of uh, more storms really up into November when hurricane season uh, begins to usually die out. So uh, let's continue to pray for these areas and other areas that could be impacted by these developing storms uh, in the Atlantic and in the Gulf of Mexico. We have unspoken requests today for Sister Shay Sharon asking us to pray for a situation that they need the Lord to heal and make whole and bring peace. Um, Brother Chuck Clark, Rebecca Williams, the Crony family, the Day family, Brianna Williams, Johnny Nelson's best friend's family, Johnny Nelson's mother, his brother Alan, and his niece Jessica, and Belinda, all with unspoken needs. And of course, we need to intercede for our nation as we come up very, very quickly on major decisions that will impact the next four years and beyond as we elect a new president and uh, also decide the balance of power in the Senate and in the House of Representatives. And of course, all the local uh, races, uh, state races are very, very important as well. So all these needs we're going to take to the Lord in prayer this morning. I'm thankful for all seven of you who are here with me right now uh, to pray with me this morning. God bless each and every one of you. 
uh, for taking the time today and every weekday to be a part of this prayer team. Uh, if you have a request today, go ahead and post that. I see some of you um, posting some things right now. So go ahead and add to the comments. Also, praise reports. We love to hear those praise reports. So very encouraging uh, to hear what God is doing in these things that we're praying about. It also helps us to keep the list, the prayer list, up to date. I want to read to you this morning um, from the word of the Lord, Genesis chapter 22, verse 15 through 18, and then 1 Peter 1, verses 6 and 7. And Genesis 22, verse 15 tells us, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Here we see the reward of obedience. First Peter chapter 1, verse 6 and 7 says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, that's so important, the things that you're going through are just for a season. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. But here's the purpose in it. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Obedience uh, we understand brings divine blessings and strengthens our faith. After Abraham's act of obedience, God blessed him and promised to multiply his descendants as the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. But this blessing extended beyond Abraham and his family to all nations through his offspring. Abraham's obedience had far-reaching, <coughs> excuse me, far-reaching effects, fulfilling God's promises and impacting generations to come. 1 Peter chapter 1 reminds us that trials refine our faith, it makes it more pure, and brings glory to God. Obedience during difficult times is a testament to our faith and our commitment to God, just as Abraham's obedience resulted in blessings that impacted generations our obedience never forget this our obedience is not just about us and if we flip that coin over our disobedience is also not just about us that's where generational blessings or generational curses uh, come from is simply the acts of obedience of one generation that precedes the next or the acts of disobedience by the same token so remember, our choices are not just about us, but they are about the generations of our families to come and the families of the people that we are called to lead and serve. The trials that we face serve to strengthen our faith and they prepare us for greater blessings. Obedience is not just a one-time thing. It's not just a one moment of acceptance of of lordship of Jesus Christ, but it is an everyday choice that we must make over and over again. Every day we have the opportunity to obey or disobey the voice of God. And mixed in with that is the trials and challenges of life that can either serve to refine us or destroy us. Again, the choices are based on whether our obedience to God continues through those difficult times. As those trials refine our faith and bring us closer to God, as we remain obedient, we open the door to God's wisdom and blessing in our lives. Abraham's story this week has taught us that the blessings of obedience extend beyond our 
here and now, our immediate circumstances. Our obedience is our testimony to our faith and our trust in God. And uh, I want to simply be that obedient servant. Um, and the Word of God says that after we've done all these things, that we are not to say, well, look at what I've done. I am such a great Christian. But the Lord said, after you've done all these things, say, say, Lord, we are, we are uh, slothful. We are unfaithful. I'm trying to think, uh, you know, basically we've just done the very minimum. And so obedience is so very important. And it is not something that we do to uh, get glory for ourselves and how good that we are. But it is a testimony of the greatness of God and our faith in him. Would you pray with me today? Lord Jesus, we thank you for another day that you've given us, another day that you've given us uh, with this free will that you've uh, so graciously bestowed upon us that we get to make decisions today, decisions that are weighty and some decisions that seem to be so minor, but yet they will impact everything in our lives and things around us. So help us today, God, to just stay in the very center of your will, Lord, to be careful for nothing, but in everything to bring our prayers and supplications before you and depend upon you. And when we hear your voice, God, that we would simply respond in a submissive obedience to your perfect will, because we know that Father knows best. You know what's best for each of us. And we pray today you would help us, God, to receive your word and respond to it accordingly. Lord, every need today that uh, have been placed on this list, we know, God, it's your will that we pray for these. Each name that we've called out, Lord, it's not just an exercise. It is certainly not an exercise in futility, but it's an exercise in faithfulness. And so today we ask you once again, Lord, to stretch forth your hand to heal, to deliver, to set free the captives, to bind up the brokenhearted, hallelujah, to deliver those who are bound with chains. In the name of Jesus, we come against every spiritual uh, war that's going on in people's hearts and minds, in their families, in their homes today, in their workplaces, and the way that we see those things being manifest through politics and, and through the uh, laws that are being uh, changed in our nation and causing us to drift further and further away from truth and righteousness. We know that righteousness exalts a nation, and Lord, we want to be a part of a nation, Lord, that exalts your name and is therefore exalted uh, in its um, impact in the world. We pray, God, you would help America to go back toward you, to save ourselves from this untoward generation. Hallelujah, Lord, to once again be that nation that is a city set on a hill that is patterned after your word and after the great commission, Lord, to send forth missionaries to change the world around us, to lead them to you, God. Help us, Lord, to remember our mission today, the church being that thin line that separates, Lord, the holy from the unholy. Help us, God, to stand for truth and righteousness in our generation. We pray today, God, that not only would you meet these spiritual needs, that not only would you draw the prodigals uh, back to yourself, that not only would you uh, work uh, for healing of uh, dysfunctional homes today and, and breaking of chains of addictions, Lord, and giving of salvation to those who are lost today. But we pray for those who are afflicted in body, those who are uh, on a road of recovery that seems too long for them to walk. We pray, God, that you would carry them and strengthen them today, that you would protect those who are serving you today and those, Lord, who do not know you, that your protection would be upon them, Lord, that they could find their way safely, Lord, to the church, that they could find themselves safely to relationship with you. We pray, God, for those that need a miracle in their body, regardless of what type of sickness or disease or what organ in their body is failing today? You are on the throne and you are able, God, to heal them. And we ask you to do this today, God. You are able to do all things. We pray for traveling mercies for those on the roads today, those on vacation, and those traveling, Lord, today for business 
We pray, God, you would keep your hand upon them. We pray, Lord, for the students and all of our school systems, both public and private in this region, God, that you would just uh, reach down and minister and protect. Lord, let our students that are in the public school systems be witnesses today. And Lord, let those who are in our Christian school be strengthened and developed for future ministry in this world. We pray, God, your blessing upon all efforts today in the name of Jesus. Be with our prayer team members as they go about their job duties today. Hallelujah. Lord, minister through them and we will give you all the glory as we continue to walk in your word and according to your plan, knowing, Lord, that you're working every situation around in our favor, working it all together for our good, and we will give you the praise and the glory for it all. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Great prayer session. I'm encouraged this morning. Let's go about our day uh, with this positive energy from uh, being together and uh, let's stay connected through prayer um, and continue to lift up these needs to the Lord until uh, we have been given the all clear from heaven we'll continue to lift up these needs to the Lord I'll see you tomorrow morning for our last uh, prayer session for this week I hope that you can join me and I will see you then God bless you in Jesus name